Michael Tucker is an Emmy-nominated actor, author, and producer, perhaps best known for his role on NBC's long-running TV hit, L.A. Law. He's appeared in dozens of movies and has worked with great directors, including Barry Levinson, Woody Allen, and with the famed Italian film writer and director, Lena Wertmuller. He has written many books, my favorite, Living in a Foreign Language, which describes his buying a small home in a tiny village in Umbria. I had the pleasure of visiting Michael and his charming wife, the actress Jill Eikenberry, in Umbria at their home, and now I'm very excited that he's here in my home in New York City to chat about his love of Italy. Thank you so much, Michael. It's such a, such a treat to have you here in New York City. Well, it's a pleasure. So tell us, how this love of Italy started. Well, uh, in 1976, I did a film in Italy with Lina Wertmuller, which was an insane experience. She was shooting a film, her first film in English, but uh, neither she nor her star, Giancarlo Giannini, spoke any English. And my job was to help Giannini work in English. And that was our introduction to Italy and we fell in love, and um, that led to us having a house in Italy now. How exciting, though, to be in a film. How did that come about? I, uh, one of the ways I, I made a living early on in the acting game uh, in New York was to uh, dub foreign films. Uh, you can make a nice buck, you know, make a couple hundred bucks a day dub dubbing foreign films. And uh, I was good at it for some reason because it's a ridiculous process, because what they're saying and what I'm saying don't match, ever, you know, but... Uh, uh, and I dubbed uh, Giancarlo Giannini uh, in Swept Away and Seven Beauties. I did his voice. So uh, Lena Wertmuller saw those dubbed versions and asked if I would come and work with him. That's how it came about. How exciting. So you're that voice. That voice. I was that voice. You know. And so that led to your love of Italy. Yes, yes. And we made very close friends. Uh, the cinematographer of the movie was G Giuseppe Rotuno, who is one of the great master cinematographers of all time. And he and his wife had a daughter the same age as our daughter. And they became friends on the set. And then we became friends with the Rotunos, uh, a friendship that lasts until today. Now tell us about your house in Umbria. I had the great pleasure of visiting. Yes, you did. Um, well, it's a it's a little tiny stone cottage. It a little was bigger. A, well, <laughs> we made it a little bigger actually. We doubled the size of it, and it's still small. Um, it was a farm workers' cottage. It's close to four hundred years old, um, and we stumbled on it. Uh, we were in Italy uh, taking a trip from the top to the bottom on our way to Puglia to a friend's birthday party. And we met someone, it's a long story, I wrote a book about it actually, um, who took us to this house that was for sale. And uh, Jill didn't want to buy a house in Italy. She loved to go to Italy, but she saw no reason to buy a house there. And we were there and we stayed much longer than we expected to stay and we fell in love with the people who were selling the house. and and we bought it. <laughs> we bought the house. And it's been, it was one of the great decisions of our life. We still have the house and we love it very much. Now, Umbria, you're in the heart mm -hmm. of Italy. Yeah. What are some other ingredients from Umbria that you well, love? In my, in my region, truffles, black truffles, are everywhere. Truffles are inexpensive over there, which is sort of amazing. Uh, so black truffles, olive oil, um, wonderful wine, of course. Have you gone truffle hunting? Uh, yes, uh, twice. Yeah, we, ha we have a friend who has a friend uh, who has a dog, and we go with him. Do you have to be blindfolded? I hear that they well, keep their areas. He takes us to one area, and then his real area is somewhere else. You know? And how do you like your black truffles on what? Well, I love uh, the local pasta, which is called strangozzi, which is like a spaghetti, but a fresh pasta. Made only made with egg, but only egg white. Uh, very nice pasta with uh, fresh truffles grated over. Very mm -hmm. simple, very simple. But there's a secret to it, actually. Well, the secret is, in the beginning, you warm a little olive oil in the pan, and you put a little garlic, chopped up, 
and one anchovy chopped up and you slowly melt the anchovy into the garlic and the pasta is tossed in that and then the fresh truffles are grated over. Thank you so much. It was such a delight. My pleasure. And grazie per l'olio. Sì, sì, certo. <laughs>